guys, what's up? This is Easy Drawings, and today I want to go over uh, uh, how to get over drawing plateaus. You know, kind of when you stagnate in drawing and how you get through that. Uh, I'm going to talk about my experience with that, and I'm going to tell you the best way for you to get over it. So you're going to learn a lot. Uh, stay here, pay attention, and let's get going. I'm going to doodle. I'm going to doodle a little bit, so you're not looking at a totally blank screen. Um, so plateaus. Plateaus, um, there's a few different kinds of learners in art. Um, there tends to be the people that quit during plateaus and people that just kind of struggle through it and get by it. And it gets easier and easier every time you hit a plateau, uh, depending on what kind it is. Um, sometimes it's just a brain block. It's just a mental block to what you're doing. It's just like, <coughs> that's, just, that's just typical in any kind of learning. And then sometimes it's an actual technical thing that you just cannot learn for whatever reason. Uh, or sometimes it might be something else. It might be a combination of both, or it could be that you can't identify what it is that's incorrect. You just can't see it. You're like, what's going on? What's going on? That's when you have to reach out to uh, various people to figure that out. Uh, it could be artists that are on a higher, uh, kind of like on a, they're a little bit better than you, so they can identify it. It can be your peers too, your other artists that know how to identify it. Um, you could ask normal people, but normal people might not, normal people, wow, I say that, really funny. You could ask just anybody, and they might identify that there's something wrong, but it'll be hard for them to give specific feedback for your issue. So I recommend always asking like a peer, or like I said, or a really advanced artist. Um, but yeah, so my experience with that, personally, was I started out drawing at about 18, 19, and I ended up, uh, kind of stagnating at about the two-year mark really horrendously. I had a lot of little, I was getting better fast than everybody at the beginning, and I've talked about this before, and I've hit little plateaus, right, that first two years, but I hit this major plateau at the two at the two-year mark, and I just couldn't get over it, and I ended up quitting art for a little bit, and I came back. Um, don't do that. You don't have to do that. I honestly think if I knew what I knew now, I would get over it, honestly. Um, so, like... There, like I said, you want to be the kind of person that rides out the storm, tries to identify what it is that you're you're doing incorrectly, or what it is that you need to identify, and maybe the way you're thinking about what you're doing, and just kind of work through it slowly, and it it will pass. There are many plateaus, many plateaus, and sometimes plateaus are just hiccups. People get them now. I get them now. You know, still, uh, and I'm at like this advanced level, and uh, you know, I still get them. So. But like I, I deal with them so easily now. Now it's more like a mosquito bite kind of thing. It's like, you know, it's so easy to handle now uh, for me anyway. Uh, I just know that I just drill it, drill more exercises uh, depending on what it is, and then I try to get over it and I get over it. Uh, but at the beginning, I understand it's very hard, and I think 80% of it is identifying that it's happening. You know, once it's once it's occurring, you know, when if you don't have like internet community or an instructor or I don't know other artists you're around you might have no idea that it's happening you will have no clue that it's even occurring and that's scary because you're like what what the heck's going on what is this oh my god you know so but if you know what it is because I just told you right now you already know it that's a big part of it and then you won't fear it you won't freak out you're like okay cool I just gotta work through this blah 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 you identify your problem and so on. Um, so really that's a big part of it. Um, in terms of that, I would say an instructor does make those things go much, much quicker. Uh, for me personally, uh, if you ever are in this point where you just, you can't identify what it is, just talk to me. Like uh, Patreon, I have a Patreon and I do that like on there. If you don't know what Patreon is, this is the end of the video by the way, so that's why I'm gonna talk about it. I don't like talking about stuff till like the very end of the video because I just feel like it's tacky uh, to do it in the middle. But uh, Patreon uh, is basically an online kind of perk. Uh, if you like my channel or you like anyone else's channel and they have one, you, uh, I guess, pay a certain amount of, of like, I guess like a monthly fee or something like that and you get extra perks that are not offered on the channel. So for mine, what I did was for a dollar, uh, literally a dollar, it is you, you get to see the stuff that I work on privately, you know, like private commissions as they're working on it, like exercises I need to do, you know, although a lot of those are on here as well. So uh, things that I'm currently working on. Oh, I need to work on this currently. So I'll talk about the exercises I'm doing, what I'm doing to get over it, and then I'll show kind of my results before and afterward. Um, almost like a, like an online, uh, like a vlog, 
Uh, the other thing I do is I'll just post just straight up images pretty actively on there that I don't post anywhere else. That's for a dollar. Two dollars you get an ebook, an ebook on one of the most important things uh, ever, and that is the skull. The skull is one of the most important things you have to learn for portraiture, for drawing people in general, for cartoons, for everything. You know, and, and not to mention just the fact that, like, how many designs in media and even in just traditional art are based on the skull? Tons, man. Like, if you look at, like, Day of the Dead, anything Halloween related, anything, um, you know, look at, like, certain masks on people. I think if you even look at Iron Man's mask, you know, it's clearly built from the planes of the face, which is the skull, you know? <laughs> so, um,. The skull is massively important. The other thing about the skull is that the skull dictates how the face will look, like the jawline. You know, if you know what, um, if you know what, uh, what do you call it? Um, what are they called? I can't remember. Landmarks. So the skull of the bone is the like right here, for example, the brow. Let's say would be the same thing as the brow over here, like on the actual brow. Like if you touch your face, that's that's showing on the outside. Not so much the squishy parts, if you're like me, I have squishy in my face. Uh, but let's say the jawline, that is the skull. So knowing that will completely change how you draw portraits. Like it'll just make, it'll just instantly make them better. I have an ebook on that, it's about six or seven pages, and it goes over the most common mistakes people make when they're trying to learn it too. So that's $2. Uh, and then I think at the highest level, I can't remember what's gonna, what it costs, I really don't. Uh, but. I will literally at the highest level, I will uh, kind of take in a lot of your artwork and where you're at and I'll tell you what you need to do to get to the next level. Uh, if you cannot identify it by yourself. Uh, if you're just like stuck, you have nobody, nobody in real life, you know, in real life can help you or you're just like, what's going on? I have taught people for like years and years and years. I've coached people. I know how to identify issues. I think they're pretty easily identifiable uh, usually and I tell you what they are. And I even give you some exercises. I'm like, hey, you should do this, this, and this, and really drill it, and then you'll get over it. Or I'm like, you're just straight up not putting enough time or something, you know, I'll identify where I think you are at and what you need to do to improve. I've been doing this for a long time, so I've seen every which way people do it, uh, you know, every which level that they are at. So that's kind of what I offer on that. That's my extra spiel. That is my spiel, guys. Um, if you have any just general questions, uh, ask me them below and I'll try to make a video on it here, for example. Uh, if you want any other characters drawn, let me know and I'll put them in an example. So that's pretty much it. Say hi to me in the comments. Uh, I'm about to merge this channel with a couple other different channels all together, uh, at least productively. Uh, and I'll make that announcement later on. So thank you guys. I will see you next time. Also, if you are interested in that Patreon, I will link it in the description. And it's going to be right on the top there or somewhere around the corner. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys soon, and I'll see you later on.